This is the second part of our discussion on Cauchy's integral formula. In the previous module, we have seen what is Cauchy's integral formula and uh, its proof. And most importantly, we have seen the power of this Cauchy's integral formula through some examples. So we have evaluated some of the most computationally demanding contour integrals in an extremely simple way, in fact in few lines. In this module, we are continue uh, evaluating some more contour integrals and we are going to convince ourselves that it is a very powerful formula for even for evaluating contour integrals. Now, what is uh, Cauchy's integral formula? If we have an analytic function in simply connected domain D and uh, contour is simple, closed and positively oriented, then the functional value for any point Z0 that lies inside this contour C can be calculated in the following way. So in other words, uh, all of the functional values because uh, there is no condition on Z0, so uh, the function can be calculated or all of the values of the function uh, can be calculated or in other words, we can find uh, the values of function uh, for values which are inside this contour C by just knowing the functional values which are on the contour C. Okay, so by just knowing the values which are on the contour C, we can find all of the functional values which are uh, for points inside or in the interior of this contour C. Now, uh, so far we have evaluated uh, dz over z along this uh, uh, positively oriented circle. We have also evaluated uh, pn of z over z minus alpha, where pn of z is a polynomial of degree n. We have uh, used Cauchy's integral formula in this case and uh, since there is no condition on n, uh, so if we use for example some other uh, results for uh, evaluation of uh, contour integrals, then it is going to be a very computationally demanding thing. Okay, So moving on uh, to our new example, so in this case we have a rational function which is a polynomial over a polynomial and uh, the numerator is a quadratic polynomial, the denominator is a cubic polynomial, uh, the contour is given this uh, circle positively oriented, uh, the radius is 5 and uh, it is given in the form 5 e raised to power iota t. So this is the parametric representation of the contour and we want to evaluate this contour integral. Okay, So uh, as an exercise, I am going to leave this uh, uh, direction that uh, if you do not apply this Cauchy's integral formula and evaluate this uh, uh, integral, this contour integral in some other uh, way, then how much complicated uh, it becomes. Okay, so uh, in my experience, it is going to be um, very complicated, computationally demanding, uh, at least a uh, uh, few pages of calculation. Okay, now observe that the denominator is a cubic function and it has the roots 0, minus 7 and Two. Okay, so uh, these are the uh, roots of the denominator. So in other words, uh, it is basically a rational function, and the denominator is a product of three linear factors. Okay, so if this happens, then to simplify uh, such functions, we have a method uh, for writing down this rational function as a as partial fractions, and uh, by applying uh, that method, we can write down this integrand in the following way. So this is equal to one over z plus one over z minus two plus 1 over z plus 7. Okay, So over here, uh, so we have this uh, root 0, we have this uh, root minus 2 and uh, of course minus 7 we will be somewhere over there. Okay, So now we have reached at this stage where this contour integral is equal to the sum of these three contour integrals. Okay. Now let's see how do we evaluate these three contour integrals. Now uh, the first two contour integrals are very simple to evaluate. So because uh, we can apply Cauchy's integral formula in this case and uh, in both cases, in both contour integrals, uh, the numerator is basically this function which is constant function 1. And uh, so by applying Cauchy's integral formula, we can easily get that this value is equal to 2 pi iota multiplied by f of uh, 0 or f of uh, 0 in the first case, f of uh, 2 in the second case. And since function is constant function 1, so that's why it is always going to be 1 over here. So there's no need to write down 1 here. Okay, So it is just equal to 2 pi iota by Cauchy's integral formula. Moving on, uh, so let's evaluate this contour integral 1 over z 
plus 7 now the point is uh, this function is analytic on and inside this contour which is circle of radius 5 because uh, this uh, uh, minus 7 lies outside this circle somewhere over there okay on this uh, real axis so this is minus 7 okay so according to cauchy gorsa theorem this uh, contour integral is going to be equal to 0 and hence our required contour integral becomes 2 pi iota plus 2 pi iota is equal to 4 pi iota and that's how we use cauchy's integral formula to evaluate our uh, uh, contour integral and uh, once again uh, if we try to evaluate this contour integral in using some other way then it is kind of a complicated task now moving on to our next example now in this case the integrand is a simple function it is 1 over z minus 1 but the contour is a kind of complicated one so first of all this contour is not uh, simple because it is intersecting itself at this point uh, but if it is given if it is required in some uh, application or in some problem that we need to evaluate this contour integral so uh, let's see how we can uh, use Cauchy's integral formula to evaluate this contour integral now uh, first of all we are going to remove this problem that the c is not simply connected so to resolve this issue so we can write down the c as a union of two contours and uh, we can take this inside uh, loop as one contour and this outside loop to be another contour and uh, uh, then the these two contours so they will be simple and closed as well and uh, uh, both of them will be positively oriented as well okay now we can write down the c as union of two simple closed contours namely c1 and c2 as you can see so this uh, red contour is c1 and this uh, uh, blue contour is c2 so we have written uh, this uh, c as union of these two contours now since c is equal to c1 plus c2 so we can write down this contour integral as uh, uh, the contour integral along c1 plus the contour integral along c2 and in both contour integrals the integrand is the same now uh, our next task is to evaluate these two uh, contour integrals now uh, the point is uh, in both of uh, these cases we can apply the Cauchy's integral formula and uh, the numerator is basically a constant function 1 which is analytic function and the denominator is z minus 1 so in this case z naught is 1 and uh, we can apply Cauchy's formula in both of these cases now let's see so the contour integral along c1 is equal to the contour integral along c2 and the answer is going to be 2 pi iota multiplied by f of z0 now the function is constant 1 and z0 in both cases is 1 and hence the answer is going to be 1 so 1 multiplied by 2 pi iota is 2 pi iota and hence uh, we have uh, the contour integral which is the sum of these two contour integral become 2 pi iota plus 2 pi iota is equal to 4 pi iota now that's how uh, we can uh, evaluate uh, integrals along contours which are not simple so we can write them down as a union of uh, uh, simple closed contours and in this case uh, uh, observe that c1 and c2 both have this point 1 as an interior point okay so of course in some cases uh, one of the component contour uh, does not contain the interior point then it is going to be equal to 0 because it is going to be analytic and uh, we can also consider some other scenarios now in this uh, uh, module we have discussed some further examples where uh, Cauchy's integral formula is extremely helpful in evaluating the contour integrals